I've got a task on today where I'm going to be moving loads of um, timber and firewood and uh, it's a great chance for me to show off this uh, hookaroon or pickaroon as people know them as and uh, these tools have been around for hundreds of years and they are a real working tool you know this is a tool which will do some serious graft now these tools would have been around for centuries and there's even evidence to say that we've been doing harvesting of trees for around 6,000 years but we know then around the 1600s these became more popular as demand in timber grew. Now these tools here are my modern reproductions of the traditional pickaroon or the hookaroon but they do just as good of a job and I'll show you that job today. So I have a short handled hookaroon and a long handled hookaroon. Now these tools are actually hookaroons because of the shape of the sort of bill that comes off of there and the pickaroons come out more straighter with a little flick and you can get an axaroon as well which is a tool like this but with an axe head on the other side now this short handled one is really good for when you're up and close with the wood so working with firewood or on a on a log splitter or working on a mill bench uh, milling up timber you can then keep your hands away from the machines and get in there and move the timber around and this tool is especially good for when the timber is really wet or splintery because you, uh, you're you not having to handle the timber so you can drag it off. And there's, if this timber was soaking wet, there's no way with one hand you could drag that pole off of the stack. And with this long handled hookaroon, it's ideal and it's a real back saver for when you're grabbing timber and moving it like this. use of a hookaroon is to move timber what they would have done is they would have felled the tree cut all the branches off the tree and use the hookaroon or the pickaroon to drag the branches away from the butt before it was taken out for timber so that brings me on my task today i've got to move this timber away from this area and chop it up for firewood so i'm going to use my trusty hookaroons to save my back and get this job done So when you're using this tool, what you want to do is you want to stab the pick of the tool into the end of the log. But getting it out is a bit of a trickier way because you have to sort of reverse what you've done and come back on yourself because unhook it. So on these longer lengths, you can stab it into the sapwood and pull them along like this. Or you can just stab it directly into the log and then pull like this. But what I find really handy to do is to stab it in the end of the log like this and then lift it up and then you can drop it. trailer like that and that's the beauty of this tool you're not bending over and it gives you an extended reach if you had to work all day bending over to pull these slippery wet splintery logs out of the stack it's going to be less productive you're going to bring less money home and you're going to not work as long and that means in the day and in your lifetime that's putting a hell of a lot of pressure on your back 
and I don't care what the strongest man in the world says, he will find it hard work as well. So I try to, wherever I can, use this tool to make the job easier and more fun, but to save myself as well. Because I want to carry on until my late 80s moving this wood and cutting firewood, if I'm lucky. Now this is a big log. What a fantastic tool. Now this is a bit of kit that I believe everybody who has to move a lot of wood, uh, firewood, timber, carpentry wood, scrap wood, this is a tool that you need because it's a back saver. This tool will keep an old man working longer. Right, I better crack on and finish this job off, but see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.